Introducing our national officials for this match, our first referee, Mark Santos. Second referee is Erlindo Eusebio. And now let's meet the starters first for the Petrogas Angels. Middle blocker number nine, team captain Remy Palma. Center number two, Janelle Cheng. Opposite hitter number eight, Isa Maizo Pontilias. Outside spiker number 10, Brooke Van Sickle. Middle blocker number 12, KC Galdonis. And outside spiker number 20, Jonah Sabete. Starting libero is number 22, B. Long Barbon. And the head coach for Petrogas is Koji Suzurabara. And now the starters for the Capital One Solar Spikers. Outside spiker number 10, team captain Jarrell Singh. Opposite header number two, Sidney Egos. Outside spiker number 12, Patty Orenda In. Setter number 14, May Macatuno. Middle blocker number 15, Des Clemente. And middle blocker number 17, Shai Umandal. Starting libero is number 18, RJ Rivera. And the head coach for Capital One is Roger Gorayev. This match is held under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusements Board. It is versus Capital One. This is we have one change each in the starting lineups of Capital One and Petrogas for the Angels. We're seeing Casey Galdones in for Joy Dahoron as compared to their previous starting lineup versus the Cherry Tigo crossovers. On the other end, it's Sydney Niegos checking in for Capital One as part of their first six. So let's see what sh or what she can inject in this start for the Solar Spikers in this game. She replaces Ravenna Andrea in Strelia for coach Roger Grayeb. Thank you for joining us. This is Mix Gomez at your service alongside Rex Intal and Kyla Kingsu as we come to you live from the Phil Sports Arena in Pasig City. And that's not the start that you would yeah. want to see if you're Petrogas. Not really the best start to, with a service error. That's a free point uh, automatically for Capital One. And we're, we were talking about the lineup a while ago and uh, uh, previously, it was uh, Joy Dacoron. Yes. Uh, the starting lineup. Pero hindi mo masabi na load management because Casey Galdones can also perform and on just cue. performed. <laughs> yeah, on cue. Casey with a quick kill. Well, Casey did come off the bench in set number one, but she started the rest of the way in that five setter versus the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Her tally was eight points in total. Service in now for Petrogas. Makatuno back sets. Niegos was rejected. Another rejection by Petrogas. And Rivera goes back to Niegos. Whistle blown. That was net touch. Net violation on Brook Van Sickle. And to start that rally, it's a good sign. Uh, uh, she got a block touch. However, it ended up with a net violation. And Talking about Brooke Van Sickle, she's top 10 in almost all departments except for blocking. Yeah. I did mention that could be the perfect case for most valuable player as Petrogas scores again. What a start for Casey Galdones. Yes, two early points for Casey and for sure, hindi ito na aral na Capital One because in her last game, yun nga, Joy Dacoron was starting. Now, Brooke Van Sickle will be serving with her parents watching her again. Makatuno to the quick. Desclemente read well by Brooke. 
Back set by Cheng onto Aizam by Zapontilias, and that went outside. As now we transition onto our courtside reporter, Kyla Kingsu. Thanks so much for that, Migs. Now reflecting upon yet another five set loss, Captain Rem Palma emphasized the need for her ladies to return back to the drawing board, and she highlighted how crucial it is for every member to not just play their role, but rather commit to performing their respective responsibilities consistently. And when it comes to strategy, Rem emphasized the need for for smart and aggressive serving to gain an advantage right away as Capital One's weaknesses and defense were exposed in their previous matchup. In her words, we have to ask ourselves kung saan ba namin sila mas mabubutasan and then we play our game accordingly. But though this is a new team, we need to do it aggressively to avoid making complications for ourselves. Now let's see if these Petrogas ladies will indeed assert their dominance from the get-go as they try to take this first set. Now this report is brought to you by the Pilipinas Live app where you can watch exciting PBL action anytime and anywhere in the world. Download and subscribe now on the Back to Your Exit Mix. Thank you, Kyla. Love that report. It's the perfect example of the perfect mindset when you're going up against a team that has a losing record. Yes, and so far, an interesting start with a 5-3 score and all, all, all of the points of Petrogas came from attacks. Two from Casey Galdones and one recently, just recently from Jonas Abete. But Caldones is now at the back row as Van Sickle sets up. Sabete, not much power, but that was all she needed. Yes, good cross-court kill there for Jonas Sabete. And uh, there was a huge hole there in the defense for Capital One. Sabete is number five in the league in scoring so far. With 87 in her name. Coming into this matchup, almost a nice push by Capital One. Chance ball, Petrogas, whistle blown. Apparently, it was already outside for the Solar Spikers. Okay, so that's usually the tricky part. Yeah. When the ball is already at the sideline, what's the ruling, Rex? How would you keep the ball in? Uh, for sure, just think that there's an imaginary antenna extended above. So the ball must pass in between the two antennas. Actually, from our angle, it's really hard to say if... Uh, it went inside or... Yeah. Oh! And that's why we rely on the linesman as now Rica Rivera just got a missed reception leading on to an ace for Casey Galdones. Yes, I believe that's a 4-0 run for uh, the Petrogas Angels. Casey will continue to serve. He has three points to her name so far. Ball up by the Solar Spikers and Des Clemente finds a hole in the middle. Didn't she play for Petrogas before? I, I am not sure. I believe, I believe so. I think he, she played for uh, a couple of club teams also, like F2. She yeah. played for F2. Good to see her again, by the way. Ball up by Isa. Nice receive. Pontilias down the line. The usual target. Uh, so far, easy attacks for uh, Petrogas. They've been having problems with their digging. Yeah, that's pretty basic already for Isa Fikes of Pontilias. No blocker available to block the down-the-line hit. Rivera with a better reception. Clemente, Redwell, scramble. Good presence of mind by Rika. On the other end, Petrogas will go to the slide, and that is in for Remy Palma. Yes, that's another attack point delivered by Petrogas. And that will lead us to our first technical timeout, 8-6 to six in favor of the Angels.
Arena Plus, Astig sa Sports. We have the first game of your PVL triple header. The Petrogas Angels with a couple of uh, rotation pieces sideline for today. Joy Dacoron, Marian Buitre, and Chi Said on the other end. It's the usual thing for Capital One. They literally rotate their players each and every outing. You never know who will suit up for them as Jarel Singh, who is suited up today, just delivered a point. And that's a back row attack for Jarel Singh. And like what you were saying earlier, we need a lot of uh, points coming from Jarel if they want to keep up against uh, Petrogas. Jarel had 14 in their previous outing as Remy Palma drops the hammer. And that was a perfect set for Remy Palma, just the right height and speed. Everyone, the blockers were late to close in on that one. It's gotta love the chemistry, by the way, developed by Janelle Cheng onto her attackers. Especially Ooh. in the Ooh. recent year. Ooh, Umandal wasn't ready for that ball. Yeah, nangatalikod na si Umandal because uh, she thought the ball went over. So with the help of the net, nag-iba talaga yung trajectory and that resulted to an ace for Jonas Abete. He would gladly take that one. Almost another ace. Ball up by Jelly Tempiatura. And it's Remy on the slide. Yes. Lots of reception and digging problems being being shown here by Capital One. And if we're gonna look at the statistics, Capital One is bottom two in uh, digging and receiving as well. That's right. Actually, they're bottom two in almost, almost all, all categories. Yeah. Patuno onto the open. No point for Capital One. And here's the counter. Back row for Jonah. Had to reach for that one. Another chance for Petrogas. Slide. Ball up by Jurel. Now onto the quick. Oh, that's a net touch by Villegas. Yeah, sayang yung attack in there for Villegas because guys were rattled after that drop ball. However, the momentum niya talaga was right towards the net. Now we have our first coach, Roger Timeout. Wala naman silang mana, wala naman silang mabigat na palo eh. Yung, yung pag dumarating sa inyo yung bola, para kayong natataranta. Hindi niyo i-compose yung sarili niyo. Parang litong-lito kayo kung pa pa i-fix niyo yung position niyo. Napakasimple lang naman ng bola, wala naman silang pinapalong kumakalabog diyan. Diretso lang, oh, kontrolin niyo lang yung bola nang maayos para makarating ng maayos din sa center. Ah. Ay, ano? Wante, wante. Na naman tayo. Dikit na naman tapos bitaw. I can't help but say it again. <laughs> The combination for Coach Rogers' coaching style is just perfect. Because it's eh, straightforward, yep. but fatherly. Pa rin. Yes, and I completely agree with everything that he said. Uh, because Petrogas is just playing basic volleyball, and sila mismo yung nagmumukang rattled. Oh, what a hit by Brooke Van Sickle, targeting yeah. zone number one. Siguro kung sinabi ni Coach Roger earlier na wala pang pinapalong malakas, pero... That hit by Brooke Van Sickle has got to be the strongest so far in this set. And you know that she can hit it even stronger yeah. compared to that. Back row for Jarrell, dug up by Jonas Abete. Bit of a chase for DJ. Ooh. Now it's Rivera with a missed dig. Coach Roger not too happy about it. Good chance now for Petrogas. They send it to Remy Palma. Yeah, that wasn't a beautiful dig there from Rika Rivera, and she's been having problems so far with her reception and digging. Now there's a change in Liberos for Capital One. Miguel Landicho is in, back set onto the slide, oh. read perfectly by Brooke Van Sickle. And this is what happens when Sunod sunod na wala kang reception. Now, once you get a perfect reception, easy din talaga ng opponent mo na ibibigay na sa middle. I think Brooke Van Sickle heard Rex Intal say na blocking na lang ang kulang sa top 10 para kay Brooke Van Sickle. Here she is again. Oh, Cross court. Hammer! Wow. 
There's the power. Yeah, what a hit for Brook. And that was against two blockers. Just like that, we now have our second technical timeout. Awesome lights. Awesome live sports viewing is guaranteed with Signal yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Switch now and get up to three months with no cash out. Visit www.signal.tv slash switch for more details. And there you see some fans inside the Phil Sports Arena with a couple of banners. I wonder kung ano yung nakalagay sa mga banner na yan, sa mga tarpaulin. Oh, so apparently they're fans of Brook Van Sickle. That's a welcome sign. I wonder if they're also from Hawaii. Galing no, nakisama sila sa Holy Week ng Pilipinas. Nagbakasyon dito. Regalo sana para kay Brooke. Oh, 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 Isa Maisa Puntilla is keeping it alive with her foot. And here's the counter. Patio on the in. Ball up by Isa. And here's Brooke. Whistle oh. blown. Net touch again. Oh. Yeah, that was by the Southern Spikers. And oh, yeah, there was a net touch. Yeah. Pagkatalikod. And. I believe this is a 10-0 run. Kasi kanina nag-7 all lata eh. Well, Petro Gas will oh. gladly take that. Could be 11-0 now off of that service ace by Jonas Abete. She has four points and two aces. And now we'll listen in again to Coach Roger. Tayo na yung... Tayo na dahil, tayo na dahil. Natouch na ka doon. May bola nandun na sa likod. Natouch na ka pa doon. Anong mangyayari sa atin yan? Ayan na naman tayo eh. Para bang gusto nyo matapos na lang yung set ng ganyan-ganyan eh. Kapital! Bingal pa sa pagkakas. Just to confirm the run, the first technical timeout was 8 to 6. So it's a 10 to 0 run now for the Angels. Again, they will take whatever it is, if it's 11 or 10. And there you see the parents of Brooke Van Sickle, Gary and Lisa, from the sideline. The first coaches, apparently, of Brooke Van Sickle. Oh, wow. Another tough dig. Solar One sends it through. Chance ball for Petrogas. That has been the story of the game, but it's a miss set. Miss time between DJ Cheng and Remy Balba. Yeah, it could have been an 11 0 run, but I believe uh, Cheng set a B quick, but Rem Palma went in for an A quick. And that's why there was a quick apology. sorry for DJ Cheng. They do have a 10 point advantage, though. Eight serving 18. Isa receives beautifully. Slide again. Tough dig for Bingle. On the other end, Petrogas will choose the open. Down the line target. A chase. That's no good for Solar or the Solar Spikers. Yeah, Capital One still having problems with their second ball. That was a good up there from Jarel Singh. This spike of the set is brought to you by Duncan, ang pasalubong ng bayan. Good effort, just not enough for Bingel and Dicho and company. Petrogas looking good. Remy Palma sends it through. Jarel with the receive. Matuno. Combination, no point for Orinda in. And the counter. That's from the back row of Petrogas. Opposite angle now for the Solar Spikers. Isa still there for the dig. 
and attack from the middle. And it's a point for Ethan Arce. <laughs> Napapakamot na ka na ulo si Coach Roger. And his face says it all. Na that's just an easy ball. But uh, tatlo kayo na nakatingin. And you just need one player to get it. 20 to 8 now. The run is 13 to 1. Attack from the open. There you go. Capital One badly needed that. Yeah, and Jarrell Singh has been receiving beautifully for Capital One. They've been targeting her so far. Kaso yung nagigit problema talaga nila uh, kapag transition. They, they're getting the first ball, pero yung second ball, they can't put it uh, up. Brooke wow. Sickle answers immediately, just like that for Petrogas. Wow, I don't know if the block was too early or sadyang ibabaw talaga to si Brooke Van Sickle. Oh man, yeah, she, was, she was well aware of those blockers and that deep cross court kill was uh, way open. Now there's a double sub in for Coach Koji Suzurabara, Myla Pablo, with a unique headband. It's not the usual color, but we'll take it. And Ivy Perez will now be serving for them. Full front line for the Angels. Oh, the help oh. of the net! It's another ace. Oh, if you look, if you look at Coach Roger after every point of Petrogas, it's a jankamot ulo na lang talaga because. Parang, I don't know if they're intimidated against Petrogas, but uh, they don't move as fluently as uh, like their games before. That's what he said in their first huddle as now there's a service error by the Angels. And there's Coach Koji Suzurabara, as Kyla Kingsu mentioned. He took responsibility in their previous loss versus Cherry Tigo. Kath Villegas. With the serve, scramble forced, Pablo couldn't get it through. Yeah, that was a difficult angle already for Myla Pablo. I wonder what the earphone is for, for Coach Koji Suzurabara. Is uh, there assistant coach in the stands with a better view? Um, I think... I think they can communicate with their statisticians. Okay. Not sure if that's because uh, it's a in national team in uh, America makes statistician that's above mm -hmm. uh, recording the game and the meets an idea nya kapag check ball or what so Ooh. they can they can communicate if they can challenge or what. After all, it is going to be the head coach's decision whether or not you will challenge. 23 to 11. Chance ball for Petrogas. They go to Espina. Cross court hit. Yeah, good long ball for Espina. That was way open. That's a huge opening, actually, for Capital One. Get this, Rex. Eight players have now scored for the Petrogas wow. Angels. And only four for Capital One. So. The ball is well distributed Ooh. here. And about the services of Petrogas. That service ace, number five for them. And they have a 14 point victory in set number one, 25 to 11, after it was 8 to 6 in the first technical timeout. Yes, and what a very fast uh, first set here for Petrogas Angels. Let's see the tally. 21 minutes of play. 21 minutes. Your domination. We'll be back for set number two.
There you have it. After a close start for Capital One and Petrogas, it was an absolute pull away for the Angels. 25 to 11 was the tally in set number one. Rex, how do you explain that set for Petrogas? Yeah, at one point, actually, in that first set, they led by three. That was when they scored five to two against uh, Petrogas. Pero umarangkada na talaga ang Petrogas when uh, they had a 10-0 run. So. Um, if you're, if you're looking at Petrogas, they're just really playing basic volleyball. Pero if you're gonna compare it to Capital One, they look rattled, they look intimidated against Petrogas, and uh, they just need to play the same, uh, be, just uh, basic volleyball as well, like what uh, Petrogas is playing. And we're looking a at a huge difference in attacking 16 to 3. And the sub blocking naman 1 to 0 and the aces 5 to 1. So clearly a huge dominant win in all of the departments 16, 1, and 5, uh, leading uh, Petrogas compared to Capital One. The net wasn't also kind to Capital One in terms of the yeah. aces for Petrogas in the first set. Now we're seeing some new faces for the Solar Spikers in set number two. And let's see if this could be a big difference for them. So yeah. just to name a couple, Heather Ginoo is now in. We also have Estrella to try to counter that woman. Isa Maiso Pontillas, who has been playing very well with her floor defense in this game. Katrina Dizon is also in for the Solar Spikers as well as their setter now in Zell Kizon. So now we commence set number two in the Phil Sports Arena. This is Mix Gomez with Rex oh. Intal and Kaila Kingsu. I was just talking about the floor defense of Isa Maiza Potilias. That might not be your best moment. Yes, uh, but a good start here for her Capital One. That's a good service from Gizon. Let's see if they can continue. Consistency is going to be a big theme here in set two for Capital One. Keys on. Service in. Ball up for Petrogas. They go to Brooke. And she will score. Yeah, that was off the block. Brooke Van Sicker with that kill. She, if, if you're not blocking, you're supposed to get the second ball. Or I mean, if you're supposed to get the drop ball or the yung mga galing sa block touches. So, the coverage. Oh, yung coverage. And uh, that should have been, I think, uh, their middle blocker. Oh, oh. <laughs> what a game for Brooke Van Sickle so far. Eight points now to her name. She's been unstoppable. And her kills are parang madali lang for her. Uh, she's been seeing a huge opening. She's been seeing the gaps in defense. So... Just basic volleyball here. Unfortunately, it is a service error from Brooke Van Sickle. As now we turn you over to Kyla Kingsu. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for that, mix And next now for newer teams, they often look to a specific player who knows how to spark, maintain, and bring back their momentum when needed. And for the Capital One Solar Spikers, that has been Captain Jarrell Singh, who is often their go-to scorer. I asked her to take me back to the start of the third set last game, where they seemed to have lost their spirits. And Jarrell share that she knew that she was the target and from not being able to receive unfortunately naging domino effect raw ang pagkawala ng kanilang laro and so as they face Petrogas a squad with a powerhouse like the Brock Van Sickle, Jarrell says that defense will be the key to hopefully giving them a good game and an entire team effort is needed to make that possible. Now this report is brought to you by the Pilipinas Live app where you can watch exciting PBL action anytime and anywhere in the world. Now back to your and Migs. Well it's good to know that they're well aware of that concern talking about yep. Capital One because it was the problem for them in set number one. Yes, and I agree with Kyla na, uh, if there's one player na lumalaban talaga, it's really Jarel Singh and so far, I'm sure everyone uh, really wants to play against Petrogas, pero she's the only one who's uh, really having a good game uh, defensively, offensively. <laughs> <laughs> defensively, offensively, she's really been diving for balls, uh, receiving well, uh, even though Petrogas is targeting her all throughout the game. Okay, so we have a floor touch challenge. That was good instincts for uh, Coach Koji Suzurabara. But then again, he might have somebody from way up there in the Gen Ad section.
It's a point for Petro, guys. Yeah. A good challenge there for Coach Koji. Uh, it's easier to see from their angle because it's in front of What do you think he's riding wow. on that board as well? What a short <laughs> serve that was, causing a scramble, and it's a point for Petrogas. And I'm going to say that's a veteran serve from Aiza Maizla because we had the long, uh, we had the long stop, eh? and right after the referee whistled, she served a god. Yeah. Oh, it drops to zone number one. Ivy Perez will score. Yes, every time Ivy Perez will get the chance because uh, she's an attack attacking setter. She's very aggressive. And if you put the ball uh, just the at the right... Oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, it worked a while ago. Yeah. Good decision still, pero... Nakulangan lang na onting power or gas for uh, for Petro gas. Yeah. <laughs> okay, ka. akala ko sina jamo yun na. <laughs> Four to seven now. Here's Ivy Perez. Back row hit for Brooke with the help of the net again. She scores. And she will send us to the first technical timeout in set number two. Arena Plus, Astigs Sports. This is your matchup between the Petrogas Angels and Capital One Solar Energy inside the Field Sports Arena. Mix Gomez, Rex Intal, and Kyla Kingsu at your service. And there you see Coach Roger getting busy at the sideline after all, they have a lot of problems. They have a ton of concerns to address against the Petrogas Angels who are having a lot of fun, well focused, but at the same time, they're able to chill out and uh, get those good vibes going. That's their team captain, Remy Palma, leading the way. Later on, by the way, the next two games will feature Cherry Tigo versus Next Led. And we have a nice match for our Tuesday Ender before the Holy Week. Signal HD against Cream Line. He's on to the quick. Oh, Palma sending it back. Jorel Singh, another good block by Petro Gas. Yeah, the blockers were already there for Petrogas. And actually, two, two blockers were already there, and hindi na nakatra si Jurel Singh. That's why it was an easy block. However, it's a very strong serve coming from Jonas Sabete on that one. We've seen a couple of errors here and there, but also a ton of aces for the Angels. Doesn't seem to be a big problem for them. Jurel Singh is now at the back row. Service in, Aiza, with a very smooth receive. Brook Van Sickle. Ball up by Jurel. Ooh. Good effort. Push. Back and forth. Regalo. Ooh, tough dig. And the ball goes to our floor director, Larry Deang, which means it's outside. Now we have another timeout for Coach Roger following this replay. Para kayo mga penser eh. Volleyball ang laro natin, hindi fencing. Bakit pa isa-isa kamay yung damput nyo sa bola? Hindi kayo makakilos. Bakit? Ano ba? Ano ba kinain nyo? Sobrang busog ba tayo? Hindi tayo makakilos? Bilisan ninyo yung kilos ninyo. Sipag ah, yung salitang sipag. Huwag nyo pa... Kapital! Good news for all volleyball fans. The PVL, UAAP, and Spikers Turf 
can now be enjoyed on One Sports via high definition. Catch the games on One Sports HD Channel 17 only on Signal. One Sports HD is available to all active Signal prepaid and postpaid subscribers. That is a good reminder that Rex Intal is currently in season as well with uh, the crisscross King Crunchers. Sana na kami. Sinasabi yung team name ninyo. Usually, mabagal sabihin eh. Oh. Crisscross King Crunchers. <laughs> in the Spikers there, by the way, as now, back in the BVL, it's another point for the Petrograd Angels. And Galdones has been consistent so far. She had early points in the first set and another point here in the second. So that's four now in total for the former USD Golden Tigers. Not the best of receives for Jarel. A chase for Zell and an absolute miscue. Yeah, until now, they don't know who's, who was supposed to get that ball. I have a sub in for the Solar Spikers. Jarel Singh will now be subbed out as Jani Galana makes her first appearance. She was a reserve in their previous outing. But again, that is the nature for Coach Roger Gurayeb. players. There are no issues specifically. Ethan Arce will now be serving. Ball up. Kizon will send it to her UE teammate. Sabete with the dig. Galtones puts it away. Back to back points for Casey Galdones at the quick. And this is what happens when you have good service. So we have to credit Ethan's service right there. Uh, another good service yeah. from Ethan. So this is supposed to be an easy ball. And there was no touch there, no check ball for Heather Ginoo. Yeah, because if you have good service, uh, madadali na lang yung mga blockers mo. Either you're gonna face a double or triple block, or it's gonna be a chance ball for Petrogas. 14 to 5, another miss received. Lana from the back. Yeah, they've been targeting in Strela this whole second set. Coach Roger turning around, a bit of a smile on his face. You can only wonder what's going through his mind. Yeah, I think kailangan na. Well, di na kailangan, pero in that sequence, kailangan na agawin ni Rika Rivera because in those, uh, in that 3 0 or 4 0 run, they, those, were, those were all missed receptions from Estrella. Six serving 15 off of the service error. Another good receive by Isaac. A combination push. Clemente putting it up. Gino sends it through. <laughs> Isa just looking so chill with her floor <laughs> defense. Kizon looks and sets. That's a back row hit for Estrella. Barbon putting it up. Back row on the other end. There was a check. That's why Clemente had to try to save that ball. And Jonas Abeta will be the one to send us to our second technical timeout. Back inside the Field Sports Arena in Pasig City for Capital One versus Petrogas. It's been sheer domination so far for the Angels. There you see their players enjoying the action. Let me go back to the scores list. So a total of eight have scored. Van Sickle leads the way with 10 after that. It's a three-way tie for second. Palma, Galdones, and Sabete have five each. IP Perez, by the way, as a center, has three points. Wow. Well, he did say she is a scoring center. Yeah, she's a very aggressive center. And we see Myla Pablo back in. 
Score is 16 to 6, a very comfortable lead. And back to what you were saying a while ago, Isa Maizo's been playing very chill, and it's the complete opposite uh, for the girls in yellow. Another scramble there. And it goes back to the reception. Yeah. Another timeout. Let's listen in to Coach Roger. RPTV na ang official at exclusive na channel ng pambansang Liga ng Bayan on free to air. Sabay-sabay nating subaybayan ang PBA Philippine Cup Season 48. All games live dito sa RPTV para sa Pinoy. 17 to 6 is the tally. And if you're Capital One, you do not want a replay of what happened to you earlier in the season. What was the least amount of points that they scored? You remember that, Rex? Um, oh. We had that in our conversation before this game as we just saw another missed reception. I believe the score is 25 6. No? 25 6. Petrogas absolutely controlling the momentum. Dug up by Sabete. Back set onto Myla Pablo. Push it. And here's Heather Ginoo. Not much power there. Brooke Van Sickle, there's the power. <laughs> Parang alam mo na, eh, na matatapos yung rally every time they set it to Brooke Van Sickle. The spike of the set is brought to you by Duncan, ang pasalubong ng bayan. I want to see her efficiency in this game. 19-6. Ball scrape the net again. Open hit. You know, pushing it through. Tempiatura was a bit late. Yes, they badly needed that point. No matter how you do it. And that was just a drop ball from Gino. Good to see her back as well. Heather Gino, the former FEU Lady Tamarau. Full front line for Capital One. Received by Jonas Sabete. Myla Pablo. And it's very good to see Myla Pablo back in action. <laughs> That's her first point. That's nine players now have scored for the Petrogas Angels. Myla with her brown headband. Espina returns for the Angels. And Nicole Tiamson is in to serve. Yeah, we can't forget about her. She did start the season very well for them. Yeah, what a very deep lineup here for Petro Gaz. And there was a check. Heather Gino scores from the right pin. And to think na, um, we're going to have another player coming back. Are you talking about Chami? We'll get there. We'll get there as Sam John receives, and here's Espina. Quite low. Coverage was there. MJ Phillips. M oh, yeah, yeah MJ, MJ Phillips. Phillips. Well, MJ, before she left, she was an awardee in the PVL. Yeah, I believe she was first best middle blocker. So, for sure, a huge impact if ever na umabot siya. Yeah. And another thing that I can't wait for for Petrogas is the reinforced conference. As Espina scores on the left pin. Remember their best import in uh, their previous championship? Vander Weide. Lindsay Vander Weide. She went to Oregon alongside Brooke Van Sickle. They were teammates back then. Interesting. Let's see how the chemistry for those two can pay off in the PBL as Johnny Galana scores for Capital One. I believe that's Capital One's best hit yet. In the game? Yeah. And that's the first point for Johnny Galana who came off the bench in this game. She definitely loved it. 
Service inside. Tough receive for Tommy. And it's Myla Pablo who prevails. Two points in the second set so far for Myla Pablo. 22 to 10. Gotta love that smile from yeah. Myla. A 5 9 player from Tarlac sends it in. Kizan opens up. Lana a bit low. No touch. Oh, there was a touch. Yeah, that is the ruling nowadays. Even if the ball wasn't high enough to reach the other end, if there was a touch, then it would be a point for the offensive team if the ball sailed out. Espina sends it through. Ooh. Miss Dig again. Chance ball for Petrogas. Ethan Arce asking for it. Coverage is there. Pushed by Ivy. Red well by Zell. And here's the counter. Janica Lana down wow. the line. Lana, three straight points for Capital One. Wow, that's a putas na putas yun down the line. That was straight to Myla Pablo. She was the top scorer of UE back in her day. But can she continue? Chami over receive regalo and Capital One is looking good. Yes, the energy is uh, rising here for Capital One and this is good momentum coming into the third set for them. In Australia, serving again for the Solar Spikers. Ivy goes to Espina. Got a hand. And here's Janik Alana sending it through. Straight to Bila Barbon. Pushed by Petrogas. Chance for the yellow shirts. Des Clemente. And that beats the line. Yeah, the set for the middle was too low for Petrogas. Ethan Arce really had no choice but to force a drop ball. And that led to a quick play for Des Clemente. 14-22. That's going to oh, hurt. Yeah. Napakamot ulit si Coach Roger. I have to appreciate the fans, by the way, because they're giving credit to Capital One. They're getting some momentum. They would cheer for them. There's that unity in the PVL community. Oh, that's oh. way too low for Espina. And seeing it ko lang because Coach Oliver is right in front of me and we have a group chat. Okay. And he's provoking me na hindi ko daw siya babatiin. So, babatiin <laughs> kita Coach Oliver Almadro and Tito Mike Castro. So, ayan, binati ko na kayo. <laughs> there you go. Oh, nice dig by Barbon. And here's Chami with a push. Chami is Coach Oliver's assistant right in UP. He's on putting it up. Rivera to the left. Get it! Wow. Yes! And ito yung hinahanap ng Capital One. It's, it's their aggressiveness from the wing spikers. And so far, Gino and uh, Lana. Lana has been performing well. They have a timeout. The first in this game for Coach Koji. Who is from Katime? Who? Hey, we're not waiting. Give us a point, waiting. No oxy. So you can take a point. You're on the goal. You must be responsible. You can really feel the sense of urgency from Coach Koji Suzu Rabara. After all, they're coming off of a loss, a painful loss against the Charity Tigo crossovers. That's why he's been at it since the start of this matchup. And basically what he was, say, uh, what he, what he was saying is um, they must stay composed or they must not relax because ang bilis lumayo ng, ang bilis humabol ng Capital One and a good Good point there for Nicole Tiamzon. There's the response that Coach Koji was waiting for. Now he gives out some more instructions. Eight set points for the Petrogas Angels. 
Ethan Arce. Ball up by Rica Rivera. Keys on onto the slide. Yes. Yeah, Des Clemente had the advantage there over Nicole Giazzo. So that was a beautiful running play for Des Clemente. Now Des will be serving. Let's see if they can challenge her for defense from the back. Slide on the oh. other end. Oh, that was short and low for Casey Galdones. Yeah, I don't know if Mashadong Bukayong set for Casey or if it was a miss hit. But definitely binaon niya talaga yung palong yun. 18-24. Capital One closing in. Espina receives Ivy sets. Chavi attacks. Ball put up by Capital One. And there's the counter from Heather. Barbon keeping it up. Myla back to Chami. On to the back. Chased by Kizon. Heather Ginoo. Not much power. Coverage present. That's a back row hit for Jani Galana. Ball put up by Espina. Counter for Chami. Block. Wow. What a sequence for Capital One. And <laughs> pa rin buhay bigay ang Capital One. That move is brought to you by Honda Motorcycle. How about the net defense by the Solar Spikers? That was Katrina Dizon with the block. Clemente continues to serve. What will Petrogas do? Chami cross, and that's it for set number two. Yeah, that was a net violation also from Capital One, but still, what a run from Capital One. Did mention it could be a good spark for set number three. Yeah. Better guys will still take this advantage though. Two sets to love against the Solar Spikers here inside the Field Sports Arena. You can see them enjoying the action, but uh, for the Solar Spikers, things are looking a lot better. Let's see if they can actually play better come set number three. Back for your matchup between the Better Guys Angels and the Capital One Solar Spikers inside the Field Sports Arena. 
So it's two sets to none in favor of the Angels. But we have been saying that the Solar Spikers played a lot better in set yeah. number two. Attack efficiency balang. Later on, you're going to see the numbers. But let me give you the percentage. From 10% attack efficiency, they went up to 33%. Wow. So that's a huge improvement there from Capital One. And um, nung dumating ng 20 points pataas itong Petrogas, dun umanakada itong uh, Capital One. And that was uh, Heather Ginoo and Lana who didn't go down without the fight. So it's going to be an interesting third set if they will inject Jorel Singh back in the lineup or if they will stay with uh, Lana and uh, Gino o. and as we look at the statistics, a um, much better outing uh, in terms of attacking, but still it's Petrogas leading 14 to 10, pero a much better um, uh, output compared to the three in the first set. Sa blocking naman, 2 to 1 still Petrogas, and sa aces, 1 all, and uh, Capital 1, I remember it was their first point of the set, and that was a service ace. Okay, so you mentioned a good start in set number one for Capital One and a good ending in set number two. Yeah. Put them together. Kaya, si kaya. Makakayanin nila ang Petrogas Angels. Yes, bilog ang bola. So it's a matter of adjustments. And if ever Petrogas would want to finish this already or um, if they would be complacent. Well, uh, in terms of record, all of Petrogas' wins have been in straight sets. Yeah. Yung kanilang extended matches actually both went to five and they turned out as losses. Yeah. You could also argue actually that they could, they could have won those uh, five set matches. Yes. And the teams that they beat are the teams with not the best of records yeah. except for PLDP. <laughs> so it's going to be a tough schedule for them moving forward. Yeah. But at, at least um, in those two losses, they got two points because those were five set Tama. matches. All right. First serve for Ivy Perez. Back set to Heather Gino. And they are starting with Gino and Johnny Galana. Yes, and rightfully so because it was their best set yet. A very aggressive Gino and Lana compared to the first set. Gino now serves. That's in good receive by B Love. And it's Aiza Maizo Pontilias. That's just easy volleyball for Aiza Maizo. She saw the blockers and just used it to her advantage. I want to see her dig and receive again. She was so calm in the <laughs> earlier sets. Talk about easy volleyball as Van Sickle serves. Rivera with the receive. Lana, ball put up by Brooke. Well, she is top 10 in digs as well. Oh, that's low. Tough angle though yeah. for Jonas Abetting. Uh, tough angle for Jonas Abetting, uh, pero if there's a player who can uh, make a point out of that one, it's also <laughs> Jonas Abete. So it's 2-1 to one in favor of Capital One. And we have Kat Dizon getting ready to do the honors. She sends that ball. On to Jonas Abete. And wow. that's a nice receive leading on to a middle hit. And now let's go back to Kyla King Su for another report. So much for that, Megs and Regs. Now, earlier on screen, we saw Brooke Van Sickle's parents, as well as a bunch of her fans. And those are actually her extended family members who drove all the way from Ilocos Sur to support her. And as she said in the pregame, her parents were actually her first ever coaches. And she told me that they're pretty hard on her when it comes to her game. In her words, it's straight up tough love from them. And she joked that behind those smiles and waves on TV, there's a lot of feedback waiting for her post game. Now, Rex and Megs, I also overheard you guys wondering who Coach Koji is communicating with. And to answer your question, he's actually talking to Chi Sayat, who is sitting on the bleachers and having a better bird's eye view of this matchup. Now, this must be an effective strategy for the Angels because things are definitely looking smooth sailing from here on out. Now, this report is brought to you by the Pilipinas Live app, where you can watch exciting PBL action anytime and anywhere in the world. Now, back to you, Rex and Migs. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we have a courtside reporter. Job well done, Kyla King Su, and that. Allows us to get our eyes on Chi Sae, yeah. who's at the. Uh, Nidaman Ganung Kataas. Hinanap Kurin. Hinanap Kurin. 
And actually, even the two teammates beside her are holding papers and boards. So uh, it seems like Joy Takurun and Marian Guitre are also helping out at the G. The Capital One still has the advantage, 4-3. to three. Sharp serve. And here's Jonas Abete holding her body mid-air in signature fashion. Yes, that was a good serve. Caso Abete reception from Barbon. And a good set as well for Sabete. Deadlock. Isa Maiza Bonilias now at the back row. So we're going to see more of her floor defense. Down the line target, supposedly. It sailed wide for Estrella. And now we have a double sub. Sorry, just one. The starter, Sidney Niegos, returns for Capital One. Isa Maiza Puntilla setting that ball wow. in. Oh, that was too tight. And that was an impressive serve as well for Isa Maizo. That's a difficult angle going, going straight. Isa, another chill serve. Back row hit. Dug up by Brooke beautifully. Remy Palma. Counter for Janica Lana. No coverage. And it's still the same. Just chill volleyball for the girls in red and Mejo rattled here yung Capital One sa kabila. Let's see if they can recover. Johnny Galana. Oh, it's tight. Battle at the net. Chance ball now for the Solar Spikers. Kizon chooses the left. Lana sent back. Good coverage by Rika Rivera. Kizon turning around. Oh, great work by Rika. Back to Janica. Another <laughs> block. What a party for Remy Palma. And Dina naka cover don si Rica Rivera because Kizon was in the way. Great timing. Just perfect for team captain Remy Palma. Technical timeout at set number three. Arena Plus, Astigs of Sports. We're back with Petrogas versus Capital One inside the Phil Sports Arena. And Janica Lana, the rest of the Solar Spikers are still looking for answers here. This is Mix Gomez at your service alongside Rex Intal and Kyla Kingsu. Rivera receives Des Clemente from the middle. Another good block by Petrogas. Oh, Ooh. Regalo. Too easy for Jonas Sabete. I feel like I'm looking at the side of the Capital One. Eh. And then, when I get to the net, I'm going to get to the net. There he goes. Johnny Galana. That's yeah. off the block. And uh, I've been noticing that the kills, the attack kills of Capital One mostly are off the block. So they don't get easy kills because they established the blocking of Petrogas. Eh. So yung butas nila may defender just who's just waiting for an easy ball. That's a good attack by Brooke Van Sickle. Her body was facing left and then she hit it right. <laughs> it's one of the difficult things to do or some of the things you learn over time. At least she has made uh, her folks from Ilocos Sur proud. 
Malayo-layo kanilang uh, nilakbay. Kala nga namin ni Rex from Hawaii pa. <laughs> Pero malayo din yun. Malayo rin yung Ilocos. Ilocos Sur. That was where the Bakra bubble was held yeah. in 2021. You have a timeout. Unti-unti na naman tayong lamangan ng malaki. Dapat buli natin tayong humabol unti-unti. Hindi na pinalo yung bola eh. Hindi pa natin makuha. Simple-simple na lang eh. Yung simpleng bola nila, huwag nating, ano, huwag nyong, huwag nyong ipapunto sa kanila. Kaya sabi ko nga sa inyo, ang, ang mentalidad nyo, bago nyo mapatay yung bola, kailangan paluin nila ng todo. Kaya simple na lang yung bola, the place, the place pa rin. Iangat natin ang iangat yung bola para tingin nyo doon sa unahan na maka-opensa tayo. Go, aggressive po, aggressive po. Let's go, let's go. Hey, Kapital! One-on-one, -on -one, heart to heart conversations with the Pinoy Sakuragi, Mark Pingris, and Gilas Legends tackling their life stories on and off the court. Puso to Puso exclusive on Pilipinas Live app. Download and register now for free. Back with Capital One and Petro, guys. There's a violation committed by an angel. Beautiful serve there from Sabete. However, it was an error for Remy Palma. She wasn't too happy about it. Nasa side pa daw ng Capital One, according, yung bola, according to the first referee. <laughs> Napatingin din siya kay Rex Intal to try to plead her case on air. <laughs> but Petrogas will get a point. Yeah, what a point there for Ivy Perez. An unintentional point as well. So it was a missed hit? Yeah. Well, Ivy now has five points to her name in this game. That's... Trailing Brooke Van Sickle who has 13, Sabete has 8, Palma has 7, and Galdones has 6. Umandal returns. Shy, wearing yellow as well. Sanay tayo, nakadilaw din yung mga kapatid niya. Pero gitna si Shy, di ba? Panganay si Jao. Coverage is there for Janik Alana. And here's Heather Ginoo. Oh, Mystic. Regalo, ball put up by Jonas Abete, and here's Brooke Van Sickle. A chance to counter, Ginoo. Nice dig by Remy. To the middle, Ethan Arce, it's wide. Yeah, Ethan Arce from transition had a difficult angle there. His coaches uh, are saying na ipasok mo lang yung bola. Seven serving 12. Here's Zell Kizon. Full front line. Aiza. Hindi ganun ka chill yun. Bit more challenging on the receive. And here's Heather Gino. Oh, cross court. Oh. Did the ball drop? Yeah. It touched the floor already. So that's a point for Capital One. They're just behind by four points. And Coach Koji doesn't look too happy so far in this third set, even with a four-point lead. Service in. Van Sickle with a receive. Tic-tac-toe. Yes, ma'am. Parang ang dali lang lang buhay nila. Petrogas, no? Kapag lumalapit itong Capital One, who do they go to? Just set it up to Brooke Van Sickle, even with a triple block. Just missed time by the Solar Spikers. But Petrogas is number three in the league in receiving. They've been showing their prowess so far in this game. Diego's cross court. Jelly Tempiatura with a tough dig. And here's Brooke Van Sickle, a bit low. And no coverage. She is human after all. Yeah. A rare mistake there from Brooke. But also, it was a uh, difficult angle to begin with. Nine serving 13. Heather Ginoo. Received by Barbon. Not too happy about it. Brooke Van Sickle. Another point to the delight of her family up there in the Gen Ad section. Yeah, almost all of uh, Brooke's points. Papa tama lang niya sa kamay ng blockers and then wala, magkakarabula na sa side ng Capital One. <laughs> now, Brooke will be serving. 
Ooh. Sharp serve. She is number one in the league in that category. Johnny Galana in or out? The answer is out. Oh, that, yeah, that was out. But was there a check? Coach Roger will ask for a challenge. This is her first challenge, right? Yeah, first challenge of the match. Oh, ball in, ball out. Oh, oh. From our angle, it looked way out. Yeah. I thought they were going to challenge a block touch. Okay. It's now 9-14 in set number three. And just to remind everybody, before we proceed to our Holy Week break, we have Cherry Tigo versus Next Lead and Signal HD taking on the Cream Mine Cool Smashers. Um, as far as I know, this is also the only league <laughs> remaining in this week. Well, so we're happy to have the BBL before we take a short break. And that's definitely out. No spiker turf as well. Because it's eh, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Kayo. Oh. And UAAP is Wednesday. We just waited for the cream line signal game. Because if they win, 7 a.m. ang training namin bukas. Ibig sabihin, wala silang training tomorrow. Oh. But if they lose, 10 a.m. ang training namin. Mag Magpapa-training pa sila. <laughs> okay. So, uh, are you gonna be staying up until night time here yeah. in the sports arena? Siyempre, <laughs> cheer ako sa cream line kasi nakaset na yung alarm ko at 6 a.m. <laughs> Technical timeout, 16 to 9. Arena Plus, Astigs of Sports. Back with Petrogas versus Capital One. This is Mix Gomez with Criss Cross, King Cruncher, Rex Intal, and former De La Salle courtside reporter in Kyla Kingsu as transition to the PVL alongside a couple of her comrades, by the way. Congratulations to her batch. And uh, we shall proceed with our action, the first game of our triple header. It's Brooke Van Sickle who's getting ready to serve for the Angels. The league's best server. You see the time. There's a time of her services. Gotta love that. And it's an ace. Now, Kyla did mention that it's tough love from her parents of the Brooke Van Sickle. As a player who also comes from a, an athletic family, and as Brooke Van Sickle gets another ace, Igova, are you pro tough love? But before that, I think we're going to hear some more tough love from Coach Roger first. Mahaba mag service eh, nag hard eh, tapos nakapasok kayo dito sa loob. Eh, talagang lampas na yung bola bago nyo re receiving Reception lang yan, basic. Mula elementary, basic yan, rumisib. Alam, pag-uusapan natin dito eh, hindi nga yung bola, hindi nga pumupunta doon sa unahan. Dito pa lang sa likod, nagpupunto sa na service pa lang. Para tingin nyo yung bola doon sa unahan. Okay, Rex, tough love. Um, iba kasi, iba si, iba yung kay uh, Brooke because uh, they were very supportive. Sabi mo ka, sila yung first coach mm -hmm. ni Brooke. Pero sa sa family kasi namin, walang walang pumilit na mag sports. Ooh. So kanya kanyang passion lang talaga yan. And to be honest, actually yung mga teammates ko ngayon and 
wala akong kilala na nag-continue na sport because pinilit sila. By the way, get 7-day premium access to NBA, PBA, UAAP, PBL, Spiker Surf, and other leagues and exclusive shows when you download Filipinas Live. Register now for free. That's Maila Pablo from the middle. Espino with a drop. Chance to counter. Umandal, Redwell. Back to Shai. Ivy keeping the rally alive. And it's Espina sending it to the back row. Capital One with Jarel Singh. A lot of starters back in the game for them. By La Pablo down the line. And what a way to end that rally. Oh, Myla Pablo with a huge opening in that down. 19 serving nine. And Brooke Van Sickle is still there. Short serve this time, making it tricky for the receivers. Ball up by Jelly Tempiatura. Ethan Arce, tough dig for Rica Rivera. Chance ball for Petrogas. Ivy will choose Espina. Wow. And uh, if you're gonna block Espina, kailangan talaga bagalan mo because or magpadilig ka ng onte kasi kinakasapan niya. The spike of the set is brought to you by Duncan, a pasalubong ng bayan. Nice, beautiful hit by Espina. And the streak continues for Petrogas. 20 to 9. Or that's a dig by Tempiatura. Espina, this time a different type of attack. Scramble forced. Chance ball, Petrogas. They go to Ethan Arce. Bounces off of a Capital One player. Back set onto the opposite. <laughs> and finally, an attack point for them, courtesy of Sidney Niegos. And Niegos with a strong down the line hit straight to Barbon. That ends the streak of points for Petrogas. Capital One is finally out of the woods. Service in for Mandal. IV onto Ethan. No, ma'am. And here's the counter. Clemente to no avail. Two setters there for the Solar Spikers. Ivy Perez back sets to Myla Pablo. Yes. Pablo targeting the end line there. And a good set from Ivy Perez as well. That's four points now in this game for a former MVP in Myla Pablo. And here's Ethan Arce, sending that ball inside. Patty are in the in. Not the best of receives, back row hit. Perez will send it to Myla again. Blocked! Better timing by Capital One. Masyadong dikit yung set there for uh, Myla, and the blockers were just uh, waiting on that one. 10-point disadvantage for Sydney Niegos and company. Ooh, service error. Petrogas doubling the scoring total of Capital One in the set. They only allowed 11 points in set number one for the Solar Spikers. Jarel Singh with a nice receive. Clemente straight to the back. Counter with Brooke. Five. <laughs> yes. That's too easy for Brooke Van Sickle. Straight to zone number one. 18 points now for Brooke Van Sickle. Rica Rivera receives. Des Clemente from the middle. We have some drummers here inside the Field Sports Arena. Big shout out to them. They're by the Philippine flag in the Gen Ad section. Ayan ang dami ng tao. First game pa lang, no? Oh, last na eh for this week. Sulitin na natin. Espina, rejected. Ivy Perez, signature. <laughs> there you go. Six points for Ivy. Yeah, I believe they knew it was coming because they didn't figure out a way on how to stop that ball. Oh, we have a last-minute sub, Mitch <laughs> Morente, in this game with a smile. So who will be the setter here oh, for Petrogas? Espina serves. 
it's an error. Yeah, babalik si Ivy Perez. So, hindi mo na nakaranas ng rally si Mitch Moretti. So, there's gonna be an empty box in the statistics for Michelle Moretti. She's not too happy about it. Very animated going back to her bench. 11 match points. Des Clemente, that's in. Ivy, slide, Remy. Des puts it up. Capital One with a back row hit with the help of the net. Almost got a point. Espina pushes. Chance for the yellow shirts. They choose the middle. And there was a check. We're not yet done. Let's see what happened. Shai Mandal. That's off of the left hand. Uh, Brooke back to That's going to be Mandal's first point, I believe. Received by Barbon. Brooke. Drop. Scramble. And that's it. It's just so hard trying to contain this woman. The league's top scorer. And she is absolutely number one right now. Getting uh, a bit of advantage over CC Rondina. And that's it. Petrogas taking this game in three sets over Capital One. We'll be back to break down the game even more later on. Back inside the Field Sports Arena as we wrap up this game of Petrogas and Capital One. Now, Kyla Kingsu is with our best player of the game. Kyla, take it away. Thanks so much for that, Megs. Now, here with me is our best player of the game, who is none other than Brooke Van Segel of Petrogas with 19 points, 15 attacks, one block, three service aces, and at 58% attack efficiency at that. A big congratulations to you for that dominant bounce back win in our favorite straight set fashion. Of course, now we know that you came from an intense five setter against Cherry last Thursday. So, can you share what the impact was of that game to you individually and to your team? Yeah, you know, it's just good to, you know, get a three-set win coming off of a loss. And I'm really proud of my team for being able to bounce back the way we did. And, you know, today was everyone contributed, right? And I thought everyone did such a fantastic job stepping in and everything. Hey, Milo. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm proud of my team. Now, Brooke, now Capital One is a newer team, but they certainly put up a good fight, and they even went on a run in that second set. So what were your biggest in-game adjustments that you think spelt the difference for your team? Yeah, I would just say, again, it doesn't matter really who the other team is. I feel like as long as we just focus on our side and make sure, you know, we limit our errors and just focus as a team and stay together, like, you know, we can get things done. And yeah, Capital One did a fantastic job. They're very scrappy, good team, especially like, you know, they're a newer team to the PBL and I thought they did a great job. Now, Brooke, we're heading into a week-long break, but we know that the competition will continue to intensify 
as we resume. So what can we expect from you and Seth Rogas as we stream next week? Yeah, we have uh, some time off and, you know, we're going to get in the gym and continue to work hard and make sure we're scouting. Yeah, we've got a big match coming up and, you know, it's getting towards the end of PBL and it's very important, all the wins and points and everything. So we're definitely going to be locked in for sure. Now, Brooke, I know you have a lot of family members here to support you, so go ahead and greet them. Hi, family. <laughs> They're up there. Hey! They came all the way from uh, Iloquosaurus, San Emilio. <laughs> and the family too that didn't make it. Hi guys. And, and my mom and dad. <laughs> Over yonder. Hey parents. <laughs> there you have it. That was Brooke Bazzicolor, best player of the game. Congratulations once again to you and to Petrogas. Now back to the panel. So there's family from Hawaii and there's family from Ilocosur. That's why this is a well-deserved recognition even more so for Brooke. Van Sickle, an all-around performance, 19 points, 3 aces, 7 digs. Uh, again, she's trying to strengthen her case for possibly the best player in the league. Yes, and it was an easy win here for Petrogas. So if I were to summarize the game, it's composed volleyball versus uh, rattled volleyball. And uh, it's going to be another straight set to win for Petrogas. That's five in total. So they're currently at five and two. And those, uh, and like what Kyla was saying a while ago, um, their biggest challenge uh, yet is this one week break because mahirap na mawala sa condition. So we really have to work even during the break. So it seems like there's a formula for Petrogas. If you want to win, you better do it in three sets. Yeah. For Capital One, we still saw a lot of good and bright spots for them. Yes, uh, Capital One in that second set, uh, Lana and Gino all re was really activated. And it was the aggressiveness that we were looking for sa Capital One. And that's what they showed in, that, uh, in the latter part of that second set. Consistency will definitely be a better test for them or a big test for them in the upcoming games as they still have only one victory so far in our All-Filipino Conference. And there you see our final statistics. Yeah, a very huge gap in terms of attacking, 45 to 20. And it's all because of Petrogas' defense as well because hindi makapatay ang Capital One because of uh, their... Um, uh, well-established blocking and their established floor defense as well. Sa blocking naman, it's 7-2, to two, another huge advantage, just like their aces, 9-2. to two. So, clearly, it was a dominant and easy win here for the Petrogas Angels. All right, there you have it. It's going to be a nice next set of matches, by the way, for the Petrogas Angels. We are expecting them to have one of the toughest schedules up ahead after the Holy Week break. Up next, we have the next dead chameleons taking on the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Our second to the last game before we take a little break here in our all Filipino conference. Thank you for joining us for Kyla King Su and Rex Intal. My name is Mix Gomez, and make sure to stay tuned because we have two more Cherry Tigo versus Next Sled and then Creamline versus Signal HD.